Today I would like to explain what are enzymes. Enzymes are a large class of protein that are produced by our living cells. They are also found in raw foods. Food enzymes pre-digest and deliver nutrients past our incompetent digestive system. As an analogy, imagine a house on fire. Who comes to the rescue? The firemen. What do they do to stop the fire? They throw water and chemicals to stop the fire. In the process, the house gets destroyed on the inside and out, but it's still standing and has a good chance to be rebuilt. In order to rebuild, what do we need? It's the materials like wood, screws, sheetrock, doors, windows. Now that we have all the material, who's going to put it together? The workers. Similarly, our body can be on fire with some illness. Doctors as firemen come to the rescue to help us stop or pause the illness in our body. What do they use to help us? The doctors would give their patients medicine or do surgery. Even though the doctors have stopped or paused the acute illness, the body on the inside is broken down, just like the burning house. Unfortunately, medicine, just like anything else, has its own limitations. But your body has an amazing potential power to rebuild and heal itself as long as you supply your body with proper resources. To rebuild and heal our body, we need building blocks, which are macronutrients. They are protein, lipids, and carbs, which come from good foods that we should be eating. Now, in order to put all that together, what do we need? Is our body going to be rebuilt by itself? No, we need workers. In our, our body enzymes are workers. They are our workforce that help us break down all the foods that we eat. They help these nutrients being absorbed and transported to different parts of the cells. They need them to heal and repair. Please understand that vitamins and minerals are not enzymes. They are simply assistant to the enzymes. Unfortunately, enzymes are systematically removed from our food supply in order to extend shelf life. Essential nutrients such as vitamins and minerals are added back into the processed foods, but not the enzymes. Now, our body is able to produce enzymes starting in our mouth, then in the stomach, and then in, in the small intestine via, via pancreas. As we age, we make less and less of the enzymes. But to compensate, many enzymes supposed to come from foods that we eat, which nature intended to assist us in our digestion of these foods that we consume on a daily basis. As an example, when you buy a banana, how long does it stay fresh on your kitchen table? I'm sure that you have noticed that if you do not consume your banana, within the first two, three days, it starts to decompose and look brown and all smushed. The reason your banana starts to look like that is because natural enzymes that are in the banana starting to break down macronutrients. As, a, as I have mentioned before, unfortunately, food industry companies systematically removing enzymes from our food supply that we buy specially prepackaged and processed foods in order to extend what? Shelf life. On, the, on top of all that, enzymes are being destroyed during the cooking process under high temperature. Ever since I have started utilizing enzymes with my patients' healthcare, the results are speechless. Enzymes require very specific environment in your body. For them to work, you have to have a specific pH, temperature, proper hydration, and food for the enzymes to chew on. I will go into deep, deeper detail on this in a different video. Now, today, if you were to take one thing out of this video to start the healing process in your body I would advise you to start with water your body is 60 to 70 percent water enzymes are useless if you're not properly hydrated you should be drinking half of your body weight in ounces eat more vegetables and fruits and don't forget to take your time to chew which helps your body activate natural enzymes from raw foods. If you wish to be evaluated 
for enzyme therapy. Please feel free finding our contact information below. Till next time, with more information, amazing information.